something in the child's brain. Say, you say to somebody, didn't I tell you not to do that? And he said, yes. And then well, if you know you're not supposed to do it, then why did you do it? And say, well, I don't know. So what do you mean you don't know? Isn't that your brain? Isn't it in your skull? And your, yes, it is. But then why did you do it when you knew you, I would be upset if you did it? I don't know. And they continue to, I don't know you until you give up. You say, well, I then had to go farther, because you all are just saying, well, that's true, but I wanted to know where it came from, this brain damage. <laughs> now, I went all over, I talked to uh, philosophers, some great, some not so great, and none of them knew. They, all I got was a lot of, well, you have a, uh, oh, and then, uh, and that was it. Oddly enough, ladies and gentlemen, I found the answer in the Bible. The answer is in the Bible, where the brain damage comes from. <laughs> this is not blasphemy, nor is it religion. It's what I read. And those of you with children who are bringing up children, those of you with children are no longer bringing them up because they're gone, whether you put them out or whether they left. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Those of us with children, we don't care what happens, the consequences, let them go. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Now, Genesis. I want you all to read Genesis. Not now. Genesis, and God created heaven and earth, Genesis. And as you read, you will read words that uh, are no longer being used. And uh, don't let that throw you, because they're not in the dictionary either. <laughs> you know, and, it's, and, and God did the so forfancy of the thingamajiggers. You know, and you go to the dictionary, and the dictionary will say the same thing that you said when you read the word. Wow, I, I, I really have no idea. <laughs> but you can get the general understanding without worrying. God created so forth and so on. Boom! That's what you have to do when, you, when God creates. You do boom! Because you don't know how God did it, you know, but it's got to have had a noise if God did it. It's boom! You know, you can't do like... And it was done. You know, it's, it's a force. You must have sound. And God said, let there be boom. And it was. So as soon as God created something, and it's in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves a thick Bible so there's no words missing. It says, God created, and after the creation of it, it says, and God said that it was good, saw it was good, and it was good. Not necessarily in that order. And sometimes all three are not there. Sometimes it just says, and it was good. So we take for granted that God saw it was good and said it was good, so it was good. <laughs> now what I find is wonderful. Let's say God said, let there be trees. And, and then in the Bible it says, you know, and the greenness fulfilled the awareness of the love of leaves and limbs and let it boom. You know, well, it's very deep and heavy, you know. So just let it be trees. And God saw that it was good, said it was good, and it was good. Trees, let the trees stay. Good. The quality of God's work. Good. That God was satisfied. Good. Just good. The man invents, God creates. Man invented an automobile, called it fantastic. 
God did a tree, he said it was good. You see. Man did a refrigerator, said amazing. God did a rabbit, said good. The wheels fell off the car and the refrigerator broke down. Tree's still up and the rabbit's still running. Good. This is not a lesson in, in uh, you know, I'm not, this is not, I'm not a born again anything. You understand? No, I'm not leading you. This is, we're not going to have a collection after this. So don't start to get shaky. I just want you to know good and then amazing, fantastic, and awesome. Awesome. The man, awesome. God, good. And so for all of this, God looked around and, and the affirmament thereof, that's a fun word to look up. You want to see the dictionary stumble? Look up affirmament. You'll see the dictionary fumbling all over the place. Affirmament, yes, that's what it was there when it was there because it was misty. Affirmament. And you still don't know what it is after the dictionary said. You see the dictionary stumbling. Now, Everything was there, all of the animals and the insects and uh, everything's functioning. Those of you with children, stay with me and all I'm asking you to do is parallel. I'm not saying put yourself equal with God, but just parallel and tell me if you've not done the same thing yourself and you'll find out where this brain damage comes from. So God saw all of this and it was good. God then decided to create a human being who would be the brightest and so forth and so on in God's image. This is what's in the Bible now. And God created this human being. For what reason? To look after the garden. See, God had a garden. And God wanted something to look after the garden. So God created a human being who would be the brightest of anything God had created. And so God created, boom, and comes Adam. Now, Adam is walking around the garden. Now, if everything was good, and if everything was working, there really wasn't anything for Adam to do. I mean, there was no trash, you understand? Because there were no human beings, so there was no paper cups, there was no newspapers, there was no chicken bones. Nothing. So all Adam had to do was walk around. That's all. There were no hoses, so he didn't have to get water for anything, you know, everything. And there was a mist, so everything was growing on its own. Nothing was misbehaving. There was nothing for Adam to do, ladies and gentlemen. Take note in the Bible that as when Adam was created, there was nothing after the creation of Adam where God said that God saw that Adam was good, said Adam was good, and Adam was good. There's nothing there about Adam being good. Honest to goodness, get a thick Bible. God did not have time to see if Adam was good because Adam started to mess up right away. <laughs> Stay with me, those of you who had children or who had children, because this is my work for you and you're going to be thankful I did all this for you. 